Hello Leo and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is a weekly reading for you for the third week of June 2020. And it's, as I said, it's just a general reading to see what's on the cards for you this coming week. Um, just to see what energies are about you, what challenges you may face and that sort of thing. But before we jump into the tarot reading, we need to consult the oracle. So we're just going to pull a couple of cards from the oracle. and see what the oracle has to say. Right, so let's see. What messages does the do the oracle? What message does the oracle have for Leo for this coming week? third week of June 2020. What messages does the oracle have for Leo for the third week of June 2020? What messages does the oracle have for Leo for the third week of June Oopsie, 2020? Now do you want to take those two Leo? To just take them. Knowledge. You have the book. Knowledge. And you have protection with the dagger. Yeah, so sometimes knowledge it can provide protection. You know, sometimes foresight is knowledge. Knowledge brings foresight, and that brings protection. So let's see. Let's see what the rest of the reading brings. Let's see what's on the cards for you, Leo. For the third week of June 2020. What's on the cards for Leo for the third week of June 2020? Let's see what's on the cards for Leo for the third week of June 2020. messages are there in the cards for Leo for the third week of June 2020. Let's take the middle pile. See what's on the cards for you, Leo, for this third week of June 2020. Oh. Don't tell me I've got the deck upside down again. Okay, well you're riding into the week victorious to start with, um, this is a card of success, of achievement and of recognition of that success, this is a hero coming home. And the Queen of Coins depicts someone who has great
great um, ability to create, to bring things to fruition, to do things and do them well. She is the perfect provider, protector, nurturer. So it seems that you bring come into this week doing it all, being the one, being the man, being the woman. Brilliant. I think you may reach burnout there by the middle of the week. Um, you have the wounded warrior here, so it seems that even though you have achieved and swept into this week with an air of accomplishment and mastering things, you are soon feeling overwhelmed and tired wounded just burnt out generally but you do have support comradeship around you people rallying around um, to hold you up, to lift you up. To give you encouragement. Perhaps for some of you, the celebrations of your achievement exhaust you. And you get a sense of trapped, being trapped, entrapment. But that's almost brought upon yourself, I think, perhaps out of exhaustion. You get a sense of um, having got yourself into a knot, perhaps you've made promises and um, assertions and you're starting to feel that all this glory and perfection that you have been accredited with is not on a solid foundation and you worry that you won't live up to it. But this is a situation that you have manifested yourself within your own mind and it's outside the cards say that actually no underneath it all you are admired you perhaps even envied and all that's needed to loose that blindfold and make you see more clearly is um, a bit of balance, a bit of tempering. A bit of temperance. A bit of calm. Your strength is knowledge, and if you can turn that knowledge into wisdom, you'll see that you have done a lot better and you're in a much better position than you feel you are in. And there's a way out of this dilemma that may <coughs> challenge you at the end of the week. Your weakness is a um, sense of um, defensiveness a sense that you need to protect what you have 
bottom of the deck you had the Eight of Cups, which suggests some time in contemplation, away from the busyness, away from everything, just to get a better perspective on your situation, which is actually a lot better than you think it is. You've done a lot better than you give yourself credit for. People around you know it. And I think deep down inside you must know it. But um, you've certainly ridden into the week on a high and need to cool down, to calm down, ground yourself and get a better perspective and see how well you're really doing as opposed to listening to that voice on your, the little devil voice on your shoulder that says it's not good enough because Leo, it actually is. So that's your reading for the third week of June. I hope you have a good week and God bless you. Uh, uh.